Hi, Sal. Hello, Britt. I need your help. All right. Always willing to help. Every night, I, I meet up with my friend, and, and he always wants to play this game where he, he loves dice games. And Already sounds like a shady friend. Yeah. His luck and his lucky number is six. Okay. So, um, so I, every time we play games, he wants me to roll dice. Okay. And his lucky number is six, and he always bets on six. Mm -hmm. And we bet for a bag of chips. Okay. So I roll my dice, and, and you know he doesn't always win. But I don't know if lucky numbers are, are real or, or whatever, mm -hmm. but he seems to... He seems to win pretty often, and huh. I want to come up with a way, maybe using different dice, hmm. to beat him or to improve my odds of winning. So let's, I mean, I, I don't know, a good way to think about it is just, well, you know, what are, what are his, what's the probability or what are the chances of him getting a six when you roll this thing? And, you know, what's neat about probability is, you know, rolling a die is, is a very complex thing. You know, who knows what's going, you know, when I'm shaking in my head, it's very hard to keep track of what the die is. No, none of us in our brains, you know, I'm shaking it, but I don't know what's going on with that die and all sorts of it's jumping around. So it's very hard to predict what's happening here. And so our best, our best way of thinking about this very complex thing that's going on in my hand is to say, well, look, assuming that this die is equally weighted, it's completely has the exact same weights in every direction, that it's equally likely to land on any one of the six sides it has. This has six sides. It sees two, four, and then one on top, one on the bottom. This has six sides. Okay. So you have six equally likely sides to, to land on. If so this we're is, no lucky numbers anymore. We're going if to. If this is a fair die and your friend's lucky number, the six, is one of the, out of those six equally likely possibilities. So he's got a one in six, one in six probability or one in six chance of, of, of him winning. You're, you're, you would win in any of the other situations. Mm -hmm. So five out of six probability. I want to know if I could do it even better because so, I really don't want him to win those chips. So you're actually the shady friend. <laughs> I, yeah, if you want to put it that way. Well, and you I, know, I have other dice. I, well, yeah, well, I think that's a good idea if you, if you want to do that because yeah, if your friend's going to pick six no matter what, he always picks six. You know, your best your, your best your best thing to do is to introduce die that have more sides. More sides. So right over here, this one right over here. This takes me back to the eighties. <laughs> this this uh, this this die right over here. Let's see. It's kind of like two of these two of these pyramids on top of each other. You see, you've got one, two, three, four on that side, and then another four here. This has eight eight sides. And you see, they're numbered all the way up to not all the way up to eight. So here, only one out of the eight equally likely outcomes is a six. So we could just keep. And so we would expect, oh, there, that was a six just then. But if I just kept doing this, and that's probably a subject for another video, but over time, the more we do this, we would expect roughly one out of eight of these outcomes are going to be sixes. So it's better for me to use this dice because there's more sides. It's more sides. You have a seven and eight chance of having something other than a six. He now only has a one and eight chance, which is a lower probability than with the regular die. So I actually even have this dice, and I think I know where we're going now. This is this that looks like a twenty sides. twenty sided die here. Right. Only one of them has the number six on it, right over here. So yeah, you roll this, your friend rolls this, assuming that it's completely equally weighted, there's a one in twenty chance that or a five percent chance that he gets his six, or you would have a ninety five percent chance of winning. So I should be using this dice tonight because you know he, he doesn't believe in math. He has if his your lucky number. And is that fixated on the number of six? Yep. Yeah, you should, you should find him one that has more size than this if you can. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm going to try it out. <laughs>